Can they help with four laps to go in the 5,000 metres? The first five qualifiers are bright. There's ten away from the rest. Rob Denmark's in trouble. But Keith Cullen's at the back of this uh, leading group. It's the gear, the Moroccan in front. Aquila just being overtaken by Bauman. Coleman goes through as well. The Canyon, then Betok, Jimenez. The Frenchman, Bihar, and Denmark in some trouble. Very, very hot. Although it's uh, 9 o'clock at night here, the temperature now about 84. Humidity very high. Well, unless something changes drastically in the later part of the race for Rob Denmark, I think he's going to go out of this field, whereas Keith Cullen still giving himself every chance. He's just a little bit too far at the back of that group. The pace is not incredibly quick. I mean, this is the sort of pace that both the British athletes have run at before, albeit in better conditions than 83 degrees Fahrenheit, 28 degrees centigrade. And now Daniel Coleman, who last year set, set a world record for 3,000 metres, and this year ran a phenomenal two-mile race where he did two sub-four-minute miles back-to-back -back and ran 7.58 for the two miles. That was an outstanding performance, and he's in great shape coming into here. Outside him, Dieter Bauman running well, and then Keith Cullen, just on, just in no man's land there, but in in tenth place, and just still, I think, with a bit of a chance because the pace here is reasonably quick compared with what one would find. But Rob Denmark coming up with three laps to go, 10:30 for three laps to go for Rob Denmark, so he's not having a good time out there. Daniel Coleman, 6.92, Bauman, the German, 4.36. The gear, the Moroccan now moves into second place. Third is uh, fourth is Bikila, Ethiopia. Five now Molina of Spain. Six is Bitok, twice Olympic silver medalist in 5,000. Behind him is the Frenchman, Bihar. This time, they've got two laps to go and they'll have to sort themselves out. Only five sure to go through. In that leading group, we've got three, six, seven. Gear taking over again, just keeping the pace honest and true, which is going to give them a chance to pull away, but there's si seven in that group, only five to go through automatically, and it's going to be a rush over the last two laps. Dieter Bauman, the Euro European athlete, and behind him Molina, the Spanish athlete, so we've got two Europeans in that group, and we're beginning a bit frustrated with the domination of the Africans. They had five out of the first six in the 10,000 metres, and I hope for European distance running sake that Dieter Bauman can qualify here, and also Molina of Spain can qualify here. With 600 metres to go, Dieter Bauman goes to the front for the first time, and still the pace is not incredibly quick, as Daniel Coleman realises that, realises he's going to pull away now, and moves up alongside Dieter Bauman. Well, there are four away from the rest now, seven still in the leading group. Collins back in 11th place, Denmark a long way back. Bauman now former Olympic champion coming round to the bell four left and Coleman takes the lead now Bowman is second place, Sagir is third Molina fourth, Vitor five five certain to qualify and they're away from uh, Bihar the Frenchman so these five are sure to go through looking back, Keith Cullen at the moment is 11th Rob Denmark, more than 200 metres behind the leaders. Just over 200 to go. Bauman and Coleman. Seguir looking back, no problem. Molina right behind him. The Spanish record holder. And they can ease off. Five qualified. Plus the five fastest losers for the final on Sunday. Well, Seguir's got to race it out. Not much point. Coleman on the inside. Seguir, Bauman, Coleman, Molina, and Beethoff for certain qualifiers. And sixth place is Bihar, France. Seventh is Aquila, Ethiopia. Eighth is Culpepper, United States. Ninth, Imanus of Spain. And now in tenth place, Keith Cullen of Great Britain. From the Challenge Six Club. Turn from steeple chasing to the flat. And the winning time 1319.70. And I just clocked um, Keith Cullen in 10th place there at about 1342 as Rob Denmark comes there just slightly under 14 minutes. 
and I think it's back to the drawing board for Rob Denmark. The two British athletes would be very surprised if Keith Cullen qualifies, and certainly Rob Denmark's out. Disappointing performance by the, both the British athletes, but I think the conditions here they found oppressive. I don't think they came out and acclimatised uh, long enough, my personal view, and certainly that performance there, Rob Denmark's capable of an awful lot faster than that. He'll be very, very disappointed. Twice he's been a, a World Championship finalist, ninth in the past, and uh, that's, not a, that's not a good day for Rob Denmark as we watch the gear of Morocco. No problem at all qualifying there, just outside 13.20, and it'll be a lot faster in the final.